chat, YouTube. It's time for some FOMO Tide. Alright, now I got the deck uh, visually sorted. So this is a deck that's built around... Well, it's your classic blue-red Murktide deck, of course, but the reason why blue-red Murktide has kind of fallen off out of favor is because the frog is typically just a lot better to be on, and you want to be on, like, a blue-black Murktide build. And instead, this one's playing Fear of Missing Out in the frog spot as kind of this way of equipping a Phoenix onto it, attacking them for 8, or, you know, you get to FOMO, untap a Murktide region, gain additional combat, and then attack them twice with this Murktide. Could potentially be very powerful and kill out of nowhere, so I think I like this build of Murktide quite a bit i'm not sure it's stronger than the blue black build but i guess we're gonna find out after this league so for the zero drops i got our copies of bobble to synergize with the drc fill up delirium faster that's an artifact this is an enchantment creature this is a sorcery this is an instant so it's pretty easy to get delirium in this deck because you have a bunch of fetches and then you got your three copies of spell snares your one mana counter spell interruption you got your four copies of Thought Scour to help fill the graveyard. You got your four DRCs to help fill the graveyard as well. You got your seven copies of Removal Spell, three copies of Lightning Bolt, four copies of Unholy Heat. The FOMOs, the four iterations as your card advantage engine, two copies of Force Indigation because I think free spells are very important right now. You got your Sink of Stupor, which is your MDFC, three copies of Detective's Phoenix, which you can collect evidence out of the graveyard, put on the Merc Tide, give it haste, put on the FOMO, give it haste, and flying. Three copies of Lorien Revealed, which is mostly just in here for the collect evidence. And then four copies of Murktide, because Murktide is very good in the shell. We were filling the graveyard so fast. Mana base-wise, we got two copies of Basic Island. And uh, four copies of Spire Bluff Canals, the Fast Land, Fetches, Steam Vents, and Thundering Falls. Sideboard-wise, we got three copies of Consignment Memory for the Eldrazi matchups, one Stern Scolding for the Boros matchups, three Ragavons for the Uninteractive matchups, one Ghost Vacuum for Gorios or Flage decks, Cast in the Fire for the Boros Energy matchup, because you can kill two cats and a ring with it. Force Negation for uh, an extra ring piece of hate, two copies of Blood Moon for the greedy mana bases, and then three Rough Tumbles for Boros as well. Let's try it. This is a great mental magic hand if I had any card into land drop. Alright, we'll keep this. It's not a great hand, but at least it has Lorien. If they thought he's my Lorien, I'm dead. Lantern Control has remained tier 3 or worse through metas with Nanu and da 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 the one ring card da 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 to Ball's Trickery to this day the deck is always the most questionable thing in modern and just avoids bans by being hard to play and force of vigor. That deck cannot beat a single force of vigor ever. I'm Mulligan's to 5. GLHF no, I think they're on Storm. Uh-oh. Not sure I like our Storm matchup with this particular hand. Thank you, Sisk. I'm gonna get a Thundering Falls. Does I leave Iteration on top? Oh, Shifting Woodland. This is not Storm. Uh, I can't read that card sideways. Bin's Omniscience. I guess it's the Shifting Woodland Omniscience deck. Figured it out. I think I'm just going to start the turn with Iteration, probably. Urza Saga's not pathetic. Urza Saga's kind of pathetic. Compared to what it used to be. I have one card type in my graveyard. And they have an omniscience. So this will go well for me. What are they going to cast off their omniscience? Surely nothing, right? What's up, Jay Sanchez? I wouldn't cast an Emrakul, would they? Mm-hmm. Makes an omniscience. Plays a fable. Plays a bloodbraid marauder. Into glimpse.
Let's leave. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Blood Moon. Goes to vacuum. I want consign if they're going to be playing uh, Bloodbird Marauder into Glimpse. Maybe. Let's take the consigns. Take the Force Negation for the Karns. Thanks, Blade. Rockabond seems fine. I'll cut one of these, cut a Merc Tide. Trim a FOMO. All these heats seem kind of poor. Bellsner's fine, right? Because they have Rumble. Trim an iteration or two. I don't have a ton of graveyard hate in here. Which is tough. Ten could be okay. Got turn one DRC, and they're probably not going to do anything on turn one. Turn one bolt self. Now we got spell snare for turn two. Let's bolt them. Been another bolt. It seems pretty low impact. See if we can turn on Delirium in a timely manner. Definitely going to Spell Snare anything that they play this turn. Yeah, I think they're like... So the way they do that alteration process is they... But like, they take a foil, old, bordered blue card, and then they just like, remove... Or they cut out nothing, or everything but the uh, the border, right? And then just stick it on top of a Japanese Merc item. If I remember correctly. I could FOMO drop consigned to memory here. Yeah, some of the stuff needs to be altered, right? You gotta like hand paint. I think it's the name you have to, like, do manually in the text box as well. I've seen, like, one alteration of that style. Should probably get Basic Island in case I draw Blood Moon, huh? We have not done a very good job of getting Delirium this game. We have seven cards in here and two types. Embarrassing. Cash grab, mill four cards. You may put a permanent card from among them, mill this way in your hand, free troll squirrel. I have a feeling they're going to take the Bloodbraid Marauder. Oh, they pick Karn the Great Creator. I think I'm just going to consign the Karn because it's colorless. I'm going to sing it a stupor. Put this glimpse back into their hand. Oh, they got pick your poison. Doesn't cast it. This isn't an enchantment, so they could have made me sacrifice this. I guess they didn't really want to because then this flies. 3-1. They hit Pick Your Poison. Another Cash Grab. So far this FOMO Tide build has been kind of embarrassing. Two types on turn 5. Not where we want to be. Why no swing? This is a... Oh, it can't block. True. Yeah, I forgot I couldn't block. I was like, this is a 3-1. Yeah, no, you're right. Who'd have swung? I can find, like, iteration on the top. Merc Tide. Absolutely, Merc Tide on top. 
Just landed in LAX. Where you at? I'm on the other side of the country. Send team. Then it didn't even block Rockabon either. I will play cash grab. Blood Moon. Bobble. I guess I'm going to take the Bobble. I don't think the Blood Moon's that good here. Honestly, I don't even know if I want Blood Moon at this point. PT thing of the 61 months. One, two, three, four, five. I wouldn't recommend LA, but to each their own. I've also been living there for the majority of my life, so I think it's different when you live there. All right. I guess our strategy of sideboard at random kind of worked out. Maybe I don't even want these blood moons. They have a lot of red cards and colorless spells. I don't think I want Blood Moon, after all. And it's weird. I'll try it, though. I'll take a second land. Sign me up for second land. Indian Archon, that's going to be kind of scary. I want to find like a Rogavon or a threat on top. That's not a threat. The Veil of Thundering Falls. Been forced to negation so that way I can play this Merc Tide. I think fast Merc Tide's probably my way of winning this matchup. Thank you, Carol. Alright. It's murky Merc time. Hope they don't have an answer for it. Thanks, Bajan. Thanks, Thunder. Yeah, always go to In and Out at least once. I also go to Coco Ichibani at least once. Thunder, thank you for the five gifties. Yo, I appreciate that, Thunder. Thank you. I just suspended the glimpse. Alright, we're gonna dash your rags during the hold up spells there. Thank you, thank you, Thunder. Very kind. I think we're going to be able to kill them before this glimpse comes off. And now it's okay. I don't mind it in and out. It's coming off in two turns. I think I like taking this lightning bolt here. That boy Loco's mid, I'd say. One type away from copying this omniscience. That spell snare worthy, and then I'm probably gonna bolt this during combat. One sign. 
this pile of food at my door. A any food you send using the send food button, my mom will have to eat. Which is fine, because it's also my mom's birthday today. Onk. Jeez. Yay, we won the matchup. You making me so mad, Pioneer. Yeah, my birthday present to myself is not streaming Pioneer today. Thanks, Kristen. I appreciate it. I'll have to wish Ryan a happy birthday soon. Hey, you can go drop off a bottle of wine to my mom. She'd be so happy. I actually would like a Thought Scour. Thought Scour seems great. I should probably pop this in upkeep, but that's okay. I didn't have an upkeep stop set. It's like the blue black frog matchup. Or blue black unearth. Not scouring myself. I'm just gonna be in whatever this is. I wanna do this before uh oh masters. Alright, hit Delirium, and I can collect Evidence 1. So if I bin this, and I get rid of Merktide Phoenix, I'll have Instant Sorcery Artifact Land. Guess I'm gonna bin this then. I love that Merktide's just the entire collect evidence. FOMO... A graveyard FOMO. Honk. Let's scour self. I wonder if they have um unearth already. They have unearth. I'm kind of dead. It's gonna be tough. Ugh. And Fatal Bush? Or is it just double Unearth? Unearth Oculus, Unearth Frog. What am I do about that? That's right. Everybody gets five. Pretty good answer. Cory! Cory, thank you for the raid! Bit another FOMO. Might force this if they have force. Holy Shimata Spell Pierce should play my land. Thanks, Corey. Appreciate you. I should have played my land. Why didn't I play my land? Post combat land of shame. Delve for the Merc Tide. Pass the turn. Thanks, Josie. Old Stingo. They were asking me. Taryn sent me a message and he was like, What do you want the back of your Apex jersey to say? Young Dingo? And I was like, Just Dingo. I'm not young anymore. Every day I'm just getting older. It sucks. <laughs> Firm but fair, yeah. Just Dingo. Young at heart. Nah, no, it's so punished for uh not playing my land there. I didn't even think about spell peers. I didn't think these lists ran spell peers. It's so free to play around though. Doom. In the Phoenix. Yeah, if they can't answer this Merc that I think we're in fine shape. That's a big ask, I think. My back makes me feel like I'm 58. Same. Back for six. Play this pass. I'm 
Imagine we're pushing something here. Pushing the FOMO. So I can delve out FOMO, FOMO, FOMO and pay for the collect evidence. It's losing a lot of types though. Maybe I can surveil another two drop into the graveyard. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. I thought I was going to lose last match, but we ended up taking it somehow. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, no, shocks to three. Whoa. Blue, blue, blue. Oculus number two. Can I be two Oculus? If I draw both, I can. Which is the DRC? Dot scour. Dot scour. All right, let's collect evidence. Onto the Merc Tide, or maybe it's onto the Phoenix, because I can exile like all these instants and sorceries. One, two, three, four. I guess it's got to be onto the Merc Tide. And then I got a chump, and then I got a chump. This is a large Merc Tide. Yeah, eyes really good. Not scour. Scoops. All right, blue black. I think I want ghost vacuum for sure. Stern scolding is probably. Pretty fine. Hmm. Maybe I take Blood Moon. I ain't Blood Moon the matchup either. I think forces are okay because I can force on Earth. Maybe I trim a Phoenix, trim a Lorian. Urktide seems like the best card in the matchup. Maybe DRC's bad too. Because it attacks unfavorably into the eyeball. Probably trim two. Mm. Yeah, I think this is good enough. I don't think say its name is good enough for modern. It's close. It's good in Pioneer though, I think. Opponent passing. Might be holding up like bow masters here. Thought scour bidding thought scour. I definitely would not play Ren and Six in energy. I think Ren and Six is very weak right now. You're already kind of flushed on two drops anyways. I do have Delirium. I will speak Blasphemous about Ren and Six. All day. Blood Moon. Ego Blasphemy. Kek L. What you gonna do about the Blood Moon? Force Pitch and Counterspell.
No luck, Creep Bros. Hope you've been well as well. Spell Pierce. All right, they got island and mountains. It's the blue red mirror now. Make a five five pass. If they play an Oculus here, then we're still in trouble. Their 5-5 five five is better than my 5-5 five five right now. Oh, they're just cycling on Earth. That's a good sign. I'm probably just going to play this Phoenix and start attacking with it, too. Eh, maybe not. One, two... No, I need too much evidence to collect. Let's just cast the Phoenix. Go look through the numbers, they give you the 11 months. Uh, they updated Moto today, so... It's been smooth for me so far. Mistaken. Probably playing the Amulet. I think it's, it's fine. Depends on what this Thought Scout hits, though. That's going to a very good set. Much better than Bloomborough for Modern. Got Lorian. Okay, I'm just gonna play this Merc to item. Name Snake. Snake. Grab the Thundering Falls, play the Thundering Falls, Surveil. In this iteration, and then we're going to detect this Phoenix, bestow here, and attack him for 9. Even the iteration was really good to like leave on top, but I think clocking them is very important here. I hope we don't die. They're dead to bolt. Lands. Alright, I hope they don't get ring looped. Grazer pass. Yeah, that's a pretty good time walk, huh? Too many lands. I just want to get tightened here. This is unfortunate. Hopefully I'm not dead. Summoner's back for a dryad. Let's 
I am dead. That sucks. One less land, one actual relevant spell, and I think we win that. Let's take the consigns as well. Spell center does actually seem too bad against their build. Drop one Merc Tide. Lightning Bolt's pretty poor. Let's drop the Lightning Bolts. FOMO seems kind of bad too. I'm gonna drop like two FOMOs. I think the Cast in the Fire is important. Maybe I can shave an Iteration, a Phoenix, a Lorien. Um. I don't think we want Ragabon. I think it's important to have a clock. Maybe one spell snare, one bobble. Consign hits amulet, consign hits ring, consign can hit a titan trigger at the very worst. I think it's fine. No amulet. Kind of like going FOMO, dropping this unholy heat. Pretty fast clock next turn. Explore. Tap land. If I iteration into land, I'm just going to hold up consign a memory for the one ring. Oh, I iterate into three lands. Take Polluted Delta, Exile, Spire Bluff Canal. Yeah, I think I need a Leo Consign here. As much as I just want a Thought Scour. Start clocking them. Cavern Souls. Naming Giant. Been detected Fiends, are they dead? Ah, I gotta do math. Three. Mer sorry, Merc died. I gotta maintain. No, there's no way, right? I don't think there's a way for me to win here. And we'll just attack him for a lot. And hold up consign a memory through this grid. I don't get one ring looped. Scoop. That went well. Um, I think we're just resubmitting here. I'm up to 62 post board. And has no pressure, which is tough. I think I'm gonna mulligan. This is not great. It's got no meaningful interaction, but at the same time, it does have a fast clock. I think I keep this. They're going to five. I think we just need to go turbo. It's like turn one DRC, turn two double thought scout or something. Consign's way worse on the draw because I can't encounter an amulet. On the play, I do get to counter an amulet as well. Explore, garden, copy amulet.
I think I'm dead. Okay, well that's their land for turn. Maybe I'm not dead. Iteration bobble. Mm. I'm gonna graveyard this. Razor. Attack and then giant merc tide. One drop spell, one drop spell, one drop spell, one drop spell. Uh, one drop spell. Please don't kill me. I cast a Thought Scour on myself, so I'm going to mail the Blood Moon anyways. I don't have the option to draw it unless I target them with Thought Scour. It is Thorborg. Let's see if I'm dead. Oh, I guess not. Not dead. Cheap spell, cheap spell, cheap spell. Land, land, and then more Phoenix. Get the rest out of the graveyard here. Sub. All right, so far so good. Torbrook, thank you for the gifted sub to King Babar. Two, appreciate it. Maybe I also got kind of lucky. I think his hand's good. The question becomes, am I just gonna... Bobble on one? I think I'd do bobble on one and not two. I don't think I really want to wait for the second DRC to come down. I think I'd rather see the extra card right now. Kind of a nice one, but I'm gonna graveyard it. OBM. Best draw would be fetch land here. Alright, let's cycle Lorien. Pick up steam vents. Shock with the steam vents. Play a DRC, play a bobble. Before this bow masters come down. Actually, don't mind a spell snare here. Second Swamp. I wonder if they're playing Mono Black. Just like the Necro list. Looks like it's Mono Black. Maybe Necro. Maybe something else. Takes my iteration. Play FOMO, discard DRC. No represent bold slash spell snare. I think holding on to the spell snare while they have bow masters is probably pretty good. Might just jam a necro here. That I was not expecting. Alright, well, let's kill this. Actually, I, I'm going to get a Thundering Falls, see if I can put more card types in the graveyard. And then we'll upkeep both this. Been a FOMO. I already turned Delirium back on. Attack, attack again. Put him in the nine. Then we have a spell snare and unholy heat as two pieces of one mana interaction. I think the worst thing I could see here is like 
the one ring. I prefer not to see the one ring here. They do know I have the spell snare, so. If their plan is to flash in Bone Masters, it's not a great one. Are we gonna do a big march? March for four. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think it's worth unholy heating here. Play for for Merc Titan Pass. I can get Delirium back on. That shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, how many cards are you drawing with the Necro? Because they missed land drop, so they have to be kind of careful here. I go to four. I, mean, that's just... I guess they have Soul Spike in hand. That sucks. Another unholy heat, not helpful. Yo, Bobby, thank you for the 25 buds. You saw it on Snapchat, classic. Alright, let's scoop. I ain't winning this. Thank you, Bob, for the birthday wishes. And the resub. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not even that good against them. Yeah, if I meld delirium, but it's gonna take both unholy heats. I guess I should have tried, but it's kind of doomed. Maybe on the play, I want Rogvan against them. Yeah, Drew, thank you. Not a fan of the Necro matchup without Counterspell. I think with Counterspell, this matchup is pretty easy. Without Counterspell, it gets a lot more difficult. Yeah, on the play, let's try the Ragavons. Let's trim one, trim one, because they have Bogart Trawlers. Bogart Trawlers is a hell of an MDFC. Also, I have the Profane. So I don't know if Merc that's super reliable either. Go down a Spell Snare. Maybe down a FOMO. I don't look a day over 30, that's good. I feel older than 30 though. Lead line of the void. Why? Why would you do this to me? Old and 30. That's a remix of Ride and Dirty. Trying to cast me old and 30. Just remove it? Yeah, I'll get right on that. See if we can take a Bowmaster. I like the Bowmaster. Well, I, I think I will take that. Burke that. You have the answer to the ring at least. Get the FOMO discard a Merc item. Draw Thundering Falls. I don't think I want DRC, it's not a fast clock. I guess at this point, nothing really is a fast clock. One with the tap land. See, you get a stupor. Well, I can bounce the late line. Not sure that's what I'm going to do with it, but it can bounce the late line. Another murky. Yeah, 
Inquisition Shelley. All right, Phoenix, get in there, put him to one. Oh, heck yeah, Dothy. Damn, they have Dothy and Leyline. I think I gotta board out more Merc Dides. Ragavan the Goat. All right, let's bring the Spell Snare. I think I'm gonna need it. Stern Scolding, probably. Board out an additional Merc Thide. Maybe an additional FOMO. That just seems tough. If they have the Ley Line anyways. Without the Ley Line, seems doable. Alright, they don't have Ley Line. Big news. Takes the unholy heat. I guess that means they have Dothy. I would actually love to draw that. Dothy down. I kind of want to FOMO discard Raghavan. Either that or I discard Thundering Falls. I mean, I could try to high roll the Raghavan. Maybe hit a discard spell from them. Maybe that's the line this turn. By the way, if I still get the Thought Scour. Iteration. Takes the iteration. I'll discard this Raghavan, I think. Hitting it on tap line would have been nice. Been iteration on top, though. I think they're sitting on probably Ring or Shelly or something. Or Necro, maybe. I think they're going to take on Holy Heat. I took Spell Snare. What does that mean? I'm going to kill the FOMO. One card in hand. It's going to untap an Aiderate for sure. Uh, hard casting Lorien is like not a bad option. Let's take the bobble in the land though. I don't think I hate force negation here. Gives me some insurance against the ring as long as it's not this turn. Tape necro. Let's just pass. I don't really want to Phoenix this up because if they have removal and to untap ring, for example, I'm in not a great spot. Force of despair. I buy DRC.
Oh, DRC. S. I think if they have Ring, they gotta jam it. If they have Shelly, they gotta jam it. So I don't know what's in their hand then. Maybe Fell the Profane? XL, just the Merc Tide. Put the Phoenix onto the DRC. Mill Ragavan. I think Ragavan's not a great top deck in the late game here. Act for five. And they're unwilling to play anything. Maybe their hand's just Shelly. Bow Masters. Okay. I don't think I care about Bow Masters right now. Because I need an out to Late Line of the Void. Because they have Late Line of the Void in their deck. Sure. This is my best answer to Late Line of the Void. Takes the Force Negation. Yeah, I think they have Ring. Pretty good. I think that probably locks the game up. Stoop. Stoop. All right, chat. Prediction time. I think his hand's okay. See if they're on mono blue belcher. King Benz. Thanks, Gidra. It's only a matter of time. Olge. I'm not gonna play this on one though. Plays a Rel. Die Rel. Die 1000 deaths. I think I'm going to force a Ruby Medallion if they have one here. I think Storm's tough without a counterspell. This we'll see though. Manamorphos is fine. Impulse is fine as well. Mill myself. Graveyard. I'm gonna graveyard too, anyways. We hit Delirium and we hit a Phoenix. Hit another Phoenix. I'd like to hit him for five here, but it's a little bit weird. I gotta get rid of too many things, I think. Ritual. Impulse. Medallion, maybe? Ritual. Medallion. Merc head off the top. Pretty please.
think we leave an iteration on top. Get rid of force negation. Iteration. Now we just gotta not die for one turn. Challenge impossible. You're missing out. Pretty good card. Get a mountain and a ritual. They have ritual, ritual, ritual. The last card's passed in flames. I might be in trouble. So I'm going to splice this ritual. Six mana. They're doing it the hard way. Ritual, seven. Ren's Resolve, ritual. They definitely should have done that. Ren's Resolve before casting the other ritual. And the last card in hand's a wish. Camera froze the perfect angle. <laughs> to be fair, I barely moved since then. Alrighty, opponent. What's the move? I think they have a wish in hand as their last card. And there's the wish. They wished for mind collapse. Let's keep him alive. Okay, can we win? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is gonna be sweet, Jet. This is gonna be sweet. Lethal. Yay! Hasty Murktide gets there. This is the Murktide delving a bunch of lands. Now, this is the Rogavon matchup for sure. Unholy Heat out. This is the deck that Pygonti and I were working on. Um, gotta cut four. Yo, Nugget, thank you for that 13 months. What's the best frog deck at the moment? Probably the Unearth version. Maybe the Unearth version? I don't know. I think we're just going to trim some stuff here. I don't think there's a ton of bad cards that we have here. I haven't missed Counterspell, I'll tell you that much, chat. Counterspell's been really awkward for me as of late. Sounds good though. Yeah, I'm missing my birthday hat. You're right. My little feels birthday man. I can just do this and pass. Hold up spell snare. Then next turn I'll go DRC bobble. When it strikes, it rich. It's bubble. I think I'm milling this thought scour. Let's see what I'm gonna draw. Spire Bluff Canal. Don't want Spire Bluff Canal. Yeah, sure. Well. Nah, I changed my mind. I don't want to, like, consign a memory here. Force negation's great. Much better than Spire Bluff Canal here. Realm. Spell Snare. Bobble to the graveyard. When it passes the turn. I 
It's iteration time. Lightning bolt to the graveyard. Land, land, land. Hmm. It's a tough one. I don't know if we're going to make it through this chat. So we have Force Negation up. That's a lot of lands. Not sure it's gonna make that much of a difference. Yo, Jamar, thanks for gifting a sub to Jadog. Appreciate it, Jamar. Thank you for the birthday wishes as well. Ral. One with a Ral pass. We can find a lightning bolt. Kind of consigned to memory. Mr. Fahrenheit, thank you for the prime of the 10 months. Go. Loses the flip. Makes a bunch of mana. Loses the flip. Alright, that one I'm gonna force. I wanna keep losing all these flips. I wish you told me how many instants and sorceries were cast this turn. Holy schmoly, Veil of Summer. Alright. Alright, alright. Yeah, it might be a game three coming up here. Can't consign the Rao old because it's an activated ability. Oh, they flipped it too early. Four colors Samwise. It's got Lurus as a companion in Historic. Hmm. Wonder why. Oh, they flipped this Rao too early, so maybe we have a chance. Is it Ren's Resolve time? 10 Storm Count. They had a Ritual. Could also cast Valkyrie Awakening. I wonder if I'm supposed to consign the Glimpse. If they're just going to cast Glimpse and pass. I think I am supposed to consign the Glimpse. It's a lot of mana for them. It's the end of turn trigger that makes three spawns. You know, Bin Ragavan. Top deck? Something good? Bobble. Force negation. Leave that on top. Bomo discard Thundering Falls. Top deck. Bobble Cell. Fetch that away. I think I need to smack DRC at Ral so it doesn't ult. Yo, Wu, thank you for the prime in seven months. I will be. Indeed. I said it not to shock there. Sinking a super. Not queued for the RC. I'm going to LCQ a little bit. But I'm only like 45 minutes away, so. Might as well, right?
they pioneer despair. Somebody brought it up the other day that uh some brood scale combo deck one I didn't know like anything about it though. I still don't know what the list looks like. Thank you, Canister. I appreciate it. Plus is the Rel. Why is my camera focusing on anything? There's nothing else on the screen but my face. And it's like time to focus on the green screen instead. Give me a Valakut Awakening. It's got Brood Scales, Bowmasters, Unearth, Grist, Ballista. This looks kind of cool. Yeah, maybe we'll play this today. Let's secure our trophy first. Yay! Based. Based Blue Red Merc. I think we made Pygonti proud. Free points. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>